So now in this video, we're going to quickly go over using an NPN bipolar junction transistor as a switch. That is Q1 right there. I accidentally wrote C1. I'm reusing an old diagram. It has all of the uh, information on here that you really need to know. So there's the schematic symbol for the NPN bipolar junction transistor. The arrow is not pointing in, NPN. There's also the PNP where the arrow points in. But in case, we're going to take a small current. So right now, we have a 10,000 ohm resistor protecting the LED, limiting the current through the LED, and it's less than one milliamp of current. Uh, very little. So we still want to take though that uh, current as a signal to turn the LED on and off fully. So we're going to use the 2N3904. It's a really popular transistor and the when you're looking at the flat side left pin is the emitter pin number one middle pin is the base pin number two and the pin to the right is the collector so the emitter as you can see there is the side with the arrow the collector is side without and the base is off to the side there so we have the uh, base current that will be set so that's a diode right there you lose about 0 0.6 0 0.7 volts from uh, the signal but uh, current flows through there and a lot more current flows through here so from a collector to emitter so it's probably going to be you know maybe up to like 200 300 times but we're going to use resistance with the load to uh, ultimately limit the current so let's come over to the board so you can see the LED right now is being powered by the uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor not not bright at all and we will uh, swap that real quick for the 220 ohm resistor and because we got a 5 volt supply right now and there you can see it's quite a bit brighter so we're gonna grab the transistor again looking at the flat side left pin is the emitter so we want the emitter to ground the middle pin is the uh, base that's going to this yellow jumper which heads to the switch and then the collector goes up one row right there and uh, so we can kind of zoom in and take a look at that really quick so I actually have in this circuit the uh, switch and the resistor swapped so I'm just gonna keep going with that you don't always have to put them in the order that you see them so we're going to take the uh, LED here, that's going to be part of the load. So it's just load on the schematic and so we're putting the short lead, the cathode, because that heads towards ground, to the collector up there and now we're going to grab the uh, 220 ohm resistor, put it to the positive rail and to the LED. So now you can see these three components are in series but the LED is not lit right now. So, we're going to grab that uh, 10,000 ohm resistor. Again, it barely let any current through. The LED, you know, lit up a tiny bit, but wasn't really on. A brighter light would uh, really wash it out. And there we go. So, we have the uh, top of the switch separated from the bottom of the switch. If we close the switch, now you can see the LED is on. It's as bright as it was before when uh, we just had the 220 ohm resistor so this very small amount of current is allowing tons more current in fact the transistor is not really limiting current at all just a spec but for the most part the currents being set by this uh, resistor and the uh, diode forward voltage drop right there so that's it for a transistor switch it's pretty simple there's a lot more to learn about transistors but this is my quick video series so I'm going to end it there make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting click like subscribe and all that I will see you in the next video